king of Prussia um, just got here. My wife and daughter have a pop-up and I'm really tired. <laughs> I'm, I'm really tired. Um, this, this week has been, you know, catching up from the holiday week and just catching up and everything. And I feel like I, I ended the week really strong, but I definitely feel tired too. So I'm going to, I'm going to slow down the pace a little bit, uh, this weekend, get some rest, do a lot of reflecting. Um, you get a little bit more rest, make up for some rest actually. Um, and, um, rejuvenate or recover from from this week um, but anyway about to head to get my wife some coffee and then um we'll stay stay tuned absolutely a beautiful day today it's the weather is absolutely perfect i'm here sitting at um the coffee shop drinking my latte here and um, which is absolutely beautiful today i'm going to spend just some time it's the first of the month i'm going to spend some time on my personal finances because sometimes as you're running so fast with, with um business uh, you don't want your personal th your personal things to you know to uh, fall through the cracks so i'm going to spend some time today uh, just going over my uh, my personal finances and a lot of it's automated but you know you got to check the systems um, to make sure everything's cool, but yeah, I'm gonna, that's when I'm going to spend my time. A little bit of time here. Doing. I know with dealing with finances, it's easy to have this, take this perspective of like, there's no feelings in finances. And I get that. Um, I get where they're coming from because in a lot of ways there isn't. It's just math at the end of the day. But the reality is finances and money is very, very emotional. Uh, because at the end of the day, it, it's it's an energy. Um, it's an energy. Money is an energy source. It's a power source. And before I even get into like looking at like my personal finance spreadsheets and all these things that I have, I take the time to like journal how I feel <laughs> about money, about my 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 financial situation right now. Um, and you get it person like you really like when you're journaling like when you're journaling. Um, your relationship with money and how you see money it's very revealing um, it takes a different approach to personal finance um, you're adding this element of, of um, emotional reflection like what's your relationship with this thing that is that allows me to buy this coffee you know I mean that allows me to you know buy these headphones or buy my laptop whatever the case may be but it's not even about just consuming things. It's like, how do you, how do you uh, make this um, energy source regenerative? Meaning that it's it works for you, you know, because that's 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 what it's supposed to do. And and sometimes you know, a lot of us and most of us have been on the journey uh, where we did not have that relationship with money that was regenerative. It's more about my consumption, paying bills. Um, and that's the mindset. And that's the mindset. But um, once, you know, you build that relationship with money, you see that it's there to work for you. You know, and then you start seeing, you know, you start changing your mindset to, okay, how do I acquire assets? And assets are things that help your money to be regenerative. Um, this, is not a, this is not financial advice. Um, but it's just my, my perspective as I'm, as I'm going through it right now is that that's the beauty of assets um, and focusing on assets is that they're regenerative in nature, meaning that when you put money, your, your energy source in it, the hope of their strategy expectation is that money is going to come out without you doing as much of the work. You get leverage. Um, so money, you know, that money source becomes a place of leverage um, as well. So, yeah, so so it, it's 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 something that we need to continue to build our relationship with money. Um, and it takes it takes time. It takes time. All right. So I'm going to pick up my wife and daughter. I think they're done. 
Uh, one, one thing I walked away from uh, as I was journaling this morning, I should call it financial journaling, because that's specifically what I was journaling about. Um, one of the things um, I walked away with, with is when you can get to a place in your life when you can say, well, yeah, I took a lot of losses, but I learned way more than what that loss um, made me experience. That's when you know you've, you've gone to a really good place. You know, when you, you know, failure is a part of the process. If you don't fail, if you're not failing enough, um, you know, you don't go out, you don't set out to try to fail. But if you're not failing enough, you're not getting enough learning under your belt. And when you get to that place, when you can say, you know what, even though I took a loss, I've learned way more than what that loss was. That's when you can begin to take those steps forward and, and really begin to grow, you know, personally. Um, Cause when you grow personally that, you know, everything else follows that in terms of your financial life. Like I said, this is not financial advice, but this is just my, my reflections and my thoughts. And I would love to hear what you think uh, down in the comments. Let me know. It's the mantra right there. I've learned way more than I lost. Put it on the t-shirt. I've learned way more than I lost. Okay, so I just scooped two uh, black t-shirts and I just been ruminating on this idea of uniform because that's the mindset I'm in. Like just, I'm really considering blacking all the way out and wearing black all summer um, just as a statement of focus and as a statement of a uniform. And also um, the idea of uh, decision fatigue. You see a lot of you know, you see a lot of tech founders and stuff wearing like, like, I don't really like that because I do like to dress up. I like to, I like fashion, like style. But um, in terms of the decision making, it's, you know, I'm in the morning, I'm not trying to decide what I'm going to wear. That's not a high priority decision. I don't know. What do you think? Put in the comments, do you think I should wear all black all summer? I mean, black t-shirts, black shorts, maybe white shoes. I'll switch the shoes up. But, you know, I'm just thinking about it. Um... But I would love to hear your thoughts.
My friend, Derek. Derek, he just graduated from high school and he got accepted to? Westchester. Westchester. So I want to give him some advice really quick. I went to Westchester um, and I told him, I did not graduate from Westchester, but I went to Westchester. And the reason why is because I partied. And for some reason, Westchester, the way the campus is set up, yeah. if you like the party, there's party, 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 party. And if you don't know what you're gonna do, it's easy to go off track. Yeah. So do you have, what's your plan? Uh, probably art major. Art, okay, Something that's a good like one. That, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so I wanna get this guy wisdom. I wanna give some some advice to have fun. I'm not saying don't have fun, but I'm telling you right now, Westchester is, was in the top 10 in the country. For parties, yeah, you know it, right? Yeah, yeah, know. you know it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm just trying to warn you. You hear it here first, Derek. Derek, yeah. Derek. Okay, over and out. Okay, please do not judge me. It's the weekend. Let's live a little bit. But yeah, I got this. I got it. I don't do this much, but let's live. Let's live just a little bit. and it's as good as it looks. I know I'm gonna regret this in about an hour, but for right now, it's exactly as good as it looks. It's, it hasn't even been an hour, it's been 15 minutes. And, and um, yeah, <laughs> it tasted so good in the moment. I'm telling you it tasted so good in the moment. But right now I feel all the sugar rush going into my head, um, sugar rush going into my head, and I, and I feel it, so I got my got me some water to um, to wash it, you know, wash it down to kind of clear out that sugar out my system. But yeah, it, it, it's, what's the lesson? The lesson is- Dance. Dance, just dance it off, just dance it off, just dance it off, and dance it off, and dance it off, and dance, 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 dance it off. Yeah, just, Short-term rewards. I was just talking about this yesterday. Long-term thinking um, over short-term rewards. So it's all good. I enjoyed it. Ooh. That's not my ball head. Ball, th that, this is daddy's ball head. Wow, she said that's my ball head. Mm. <laughs> you, see, you, see how, you see how she does me? This is the same size, see? Wow. George Washington. <laughs> wavy wig. We're calling it a day. You know what to do. Look at the description. If anything in this in this video resonate with you, uh, check out my open office hours. It's in the description. Um, hope to hear from you. I want to get to know what you're doing, what you're working on, how I can be of any service.